Now, as we said, Memphis police do still believe 18 year old Jalen Lobley had a Glock switch and used it during the shootout last Friday and also had it on him during his arrest back in March. Now, these Glock switches are causing growing concern and controversy across the U.S., especially because of just how easy they are to use. Tonight, our Kevin McNamara breaks down what exactly Glock switches are and how they work. Kevin. Yeah, Richard, a Glock switch is a device that can turn a handgun into a semi-automatic machine gun with ease. Now, just having a Glock switch is a felony that's punishable by up to 10 years in prison. So I wasn't able to get anyone willing to show me on camera how it actually works or operates. But I did sit down with some firearms training experts who can speak to the danger it presents. You can see there's a little panel there. And with that, they put another the switch on top of that after they do some modifications. Howie Williams, director of Caliber Firearms Training, says the Glock switch is an extremely simple device that, when attached, dramatically boosts the firing potential of simple handguns. And once they do that, they can put a long magazine on that has 30, 40 rounds, whatever. And once they press the trigger, all they have to do is hold it and it just cycles through each like full automatic weapon. Experts say the power coming out of the modified device makes it incredibly difficult for someone to hit only the person they're aiming for. They'll sit there and just oh, press and hold and do this or kind of do like that or whatever while all the ammo is just going down range. Like, you know, praying and spraying that it hits their target. Uh, if you're going to have any type of weapon like that, it should be a weapon that's in a box that says break glass in case of emergency. All right. You know, we don't bring that out unless, you know, everything, you know, the fecal matter has hit the oscillating propeller. Firearms expert Jonathan Cross says in recent years, it has become easy to manufacture the device on your own with the 3D printer, and the streets have become flooded with them. The Glock switch is just another, uh, is basically another piece of crack that's just available in the black market. Now, the ATF says the number of Glock switches seized by law enforcement has risen over 570 percent since 2017, and that number has continued to rise due to their ease of manufacture. Richard Pepper, back to you. A scary device there, Kevin. Thank you.